In this video, we will show you how to use the Lansing device and how to test your blood glucose levels. Before you do any testing or handle sterile test strips, always make sure that you have washed your hands. For this tutorial, you will need the Lansing device, lancets, your monitor, a box of blood glucose strips, and a cotton swab. First, we will begin with the Lansing device. The Lancet device allows you to collect blood from your fingertip easily and virtually pain-free. The important features on the Lancet device are as follows. The adjustable tip, which offers you six depths of skin penetration. The locking mechanism in the down position will allow you to remove the cap to insert the Lancet. And this is the release button. It will turn orange when the cocking mechanism is completely engaged. The first step is to twist the cap in a downward direction to remove it. There are 10 free lancets included in every multifunctional system. Grab this bag out of your kit. Insert the lancet in the device like so. You really don't need to push down very hard. It will be safely secured when you put the cap back on. Gently remove the blue cap from the lancets by twisting. You may want to save this cap for proper disposal. Place the cap back onto your device and gently twist up until you hear a locking sound. Select the depth you would like for penetration. If this is the first time you are using the device, you can work your way up or down the dials and fine tuning your process to your preferred depth of penetration. To engage the device, you will want to pull back on the cocking mechanism until you hear a click. The window in the release button will turn orange. The device is now fully engaged and ready to take a sample. Blood glucose testing strips are contained in the vial that came with your kit. Now pick up your monitor and slide the square part into the device. The number displayed on the device should match the number on your vial. Once it has confirmed the number, you will see the blood drop blinking on top of the monitor and the word GLUE will be displayed. The multifunctional monitor offers three different modes for testing blood glucose. You can shuffle through these modes by hitting the M button. Gen can be used any time of the day without regard to time since your last meal. AC should be used if you have had no food intake for at least eight hours. This is a good mode for when you first wake up. And PC is for two hours after a meal. We will use the Gen mode for demonstration purposes. When you are ready to draw a sample, press the Lansing device against your finger. Through trial and error, you will discover a preferred area for penetration. Some people like to use the side of their finger, but the fingertip is always the easiest way to begin. When you're ready to take a sample, press the device against your finger and engage the release button. You will feel a slight pinch in your finger. It's always best to wipe off the first drop of blood for more accurate results. You don't need much for a good sample, about the equivalent of a head on a sewing pin. If you didn't draw enough, you may need to penetrate a second time. Also, be careful to not smear your sample. Pick up your device and wake it up by hitting the M button. Place your finger against the bottom of the device. The device will drink up the sample. Ensure that the sample goes all the way up to the absorbent hole. If a large enough sample is not collected, you may get an error message. The device will display your blood glucose levels. This information will also be sent wirelessly to your mobile device and be stored in your internal memory with a time and date stamp. When you have finished testing, you can safely dispose of the strip by holding it over the trash and hitting the eject button. The device will automatically power down after 10 seconds of non-use so you don't have to worry about turning it off. You can always dispose of the lancet by twisting off the cap. If you save the lancet top, you may want to stick it back on there for safety reasons. 
there is no wrong way to do it since it will be discarded. The lancet can be easily removed as well by cocking the device and ejecting into the trash. In the event you jam the lancet down too far, you can pull it out as well. All of these items can be safely stored in your travel case for easy transport and storage. You can find out more information online inside of our Amazon store.